we are going to discuss about chapter 3 computer organization part 1 in the previous chapter we have discussed about how the data can be represented in computer in this chapter we are going to learn about computer organization what is computer organization it deals with the hardware components of the computer system in the chapter 1 itself, we have studied that there are two components of computer. What are the two components of computer? Hardware and software. So, the organization which deals only with the hardware. It includes the input and output devices, the central processing unit and the storage devices. The storage devices which includes the primary and secondary memory. So, input devices, CPU, storage parts, it all means the hardware. So, it all means implement the computer organization. It is concerned with how the various components of computer hardware operate. It also deals with how they are interconnected to implement an architectural specification. So, computer organization deals only with the hardware and also it maintains the interconnection between the hardware and just make the hardware to perform their particular task so all hardware you operate panna vekkiradha implement panna vekkiradha computer organization computer organization and architecture the term computer organization looks similar to the term computer architecture you would have heard about the two word architecture organization rendume ore madriya irukum but there is a difference between them let's see what is architecture Computer architecture deals with the engineering consideration involved in designing a computer. So, architecture which deals with the designing the computer system. That is, it designs the functional behavior and requirement of the various parts of the computer system. Like applications. All applications like programs, it all may design the architecture. So, it designs what computer to do. Computer NLM Pannonda full design panda the computer architecture. It is the eye level in the designing section. On the other hand, computer organization deals with the hardware component that are transparent to the programmer. So, computer organization deals only with the hardware part. So, it deals with what computer, that is the computer hardware, how to do. Okay. So, architecture tells what to do. Organization performs how to do. So, in the LA hardware, that work is done as per the specification given in the architecture. Architecture instructions, applications are created based on that, it makes each hardware to perform it. Okay. So, architecture tells what computer to do, organization discuss how to do it. The basics of microprocessor. CPU is the major component of a computer which performs all the tasks. So, we know about the CPU. Okay. So, what is CPU? Central processing unit. It is the brain of the computer. Why it is called as brain of the computer? Because it alone performs all type of calculations and it stores the data also. Without a CPU, there is no computer system at all. So, like a human being, okay. So, in the human brain alarm recommended. Our entire body is controlled by our brain. So, the similarly, the entire system and all the operations, everything is controlled by the CPU. And this is realized by the microprocessor which is an integrated circuit. So, we have studied this microprocessors in the third generation of computer. So, the thousands of transistors are replaced by the single integrated circuit. That is, it is made up of a silicon chip which stores lots and lots of instruction which is used to perform all type of calculations and everything. So, the inside the CPU, what is it? The microprocessor. So, microprocessor is also termed as a CPU. Micro 
processor were first introduced in early 1970s. The first general purpose microprocessor was 4004. So now we have use Intel Pentium, Inter Core, Dual, i7, i10. This is the versions So first first introduced by the microprocessor 4004 which was introduced by Intel company. Basics of microprocessor. Microprocessor is a programmable multi-purpose silicon chip. So it is a chip which is programmable. Okay, all the instructions are created inside that. Okay, without microprocessor, you cannot do anything here. It is driven by clock pulse. Okay, so whatever actions you are doing, everything is all maintained by the clock pulse in that. It accepts input as a binary data. After processing, it provides the output data as per the instruction stored in the memory. So, in the concept, we have chapter 1. So, computer accepts only the binary data. Why it accepts only the binary data? What is the language of computer? Computer language is the binary language that is machine language. It knows only zeros and ones. What type of data you give? All type of data will be converted into the bit that is 0 or 1. So, we language le, namalode instruction and nama computer. Ka computer ka language language and the data is convert. Paneko. So, in the microprocessor, the all data is process. Pannu. What do you mean by processing? Performing an operation. Manipulation, executions, it is all the processing. So, we have fresh data and the input device, through input device only, you are giving a data to the computer. So, the processor accepts the data from the input. We have any input, and the input it just process it. Every process is based on the instruction. Any type of instruction memory is stored based on that instruction, it process the data. After that, it produces the output also. We have many examples of this. If we have apple juice, apple is the input. So, the input is process. How do you process it? You have to grind it. Okay, grinding is the process. Grind it, we will get a juice. So, input process output the same method in the process ellame enga nadakonna microprocessor the takes a in charge to perform the process here block diagram of microprocessor this is also similar to the diagram which we have studied in the chapter 1 so what is the we have an input device then in the middle we have a cpu the cpu is nothing but microprocessor and we have a output devices. So, in the middle, we have a microprocessor. What are the units are there in microprocessor? Microprocessor is made up of three main units. What are the three main units? ALU, control unit and register. What do you mean by ALU? ALU is nothing but arithmetic and logical unit. So, ALU is nothing but arithmetic and logical unit. To perform the arithmetic and logical instruction based on the computer instruction. So, ALU is the only responsible to perform all type of mathematical calculations. So, arithmetic and rather it is nothing but addition, subtractions, multiplication, divisions. In the mother calculations, ALU will perform it. So, that is a place which performs all the calculations. And it also performs the logical calculations and or not. This type of calculations so ALU the pannu. So we have to do instructions in the mother the operations and the calculations based instructions all these instructions are executed by the ALU only. Then control unit. Control unit to control the overall operations of the computer through the signals. So, the entire unit you control under the arena control unit. So, it alone gives the signals to each and every unit to perform their particular task. For example, if when a user enters some instruction, it instructs, it signals the input device to accept it and send that data to the memory. 
and it signals a memory unit to send the data to the internal memory and it signals a ALU to get the data from the register that is internal memory and the ALU perform the calculations after that again it signals the ALU to send the result back to the registers and from there your data will be sent to the output devices this is also instructed by the control unit again it signals the output device to display the output so over a unit or in a work panel under the yaar instruct panvangana control unit so input unit data accept panasullu and the data as a memory unit kanapasullu then memory unit ke signal kudutta and the data as internal memory ke transfer panavayko then ALU ke signal kudutta and the kudutter ke instructions leda calculations arunda adha perform panavayko after the calculations again the control unit signal output device ku signal panneta it displays the answer so indha mari ovvoru unit yum thannoda control la vechu adha ella unit um avangaloda operations ah perform pandraangala na adu paakum by signaling them also it make the unit to perform their task register register is nothing but internal memory they are used to hold the instructions and data for the execution of the processor so nama kudukra ella instructions so memory la store aagum so nama temporary ah nama calculations process pandrathukku nama use pandra or small memory space da register so which is inside the microprocessor nama memory unit la inda data sa register kondu poikalam then after that the data can be transferred from register to memory unit also so the ALU uses a register to store the result of the calculations and on the register in the on the data as you other accept panic microprocessor is able to communicate with the memory unit and the input and output devices so microprocessor is made up of a three units what are the three units ALU control unit register apart from this it has a full rights to communicate with the other units also input device odi communicate pannu output device odi communicate pannu memory unit odi communicate pannu it can able to communicate with the entire system of the computer so all the data are transferring from one part of the computer to other part of the computer so input device line the data is microprocess ke transfer agudha microprocessor line the data output device ke transfer ஒரு <laughs> the same thing so in the bus system bus and the other refer panna no it carries the data from one part of the computer to other part of the computer so or input device line the microprocessor ka data pogo eppadi pogo through the bus only data will be sent so internally alu register line the data transfer aagu eppadi data transfer aagu through the bus only data will be transferred here so in the data not only carries the data it also carries is the signals also na control unit enna panna nu sonna it gives a signal to each and every unit and the signal you may when the through the bus only the signal will be sent to each and every unit of the computer okay la so the system bus is nothing but bunch of wires bus nale vandi it contains a bunch of wires and the wires da nammaloda bits binary data va கேரி பண்ணோம் ஸோ கம்ப்யூட்டரில் உள்ள ஹேண்டில் பண்ணுற எல்லா டேட்டாஸும் என்னவா இருக்கும் பைனரி டேட்டாஸாக தான் இருக்கும் ஸோ இட் ஈச் கேரிஸ் அ பைனரி டேட்டா ஃப்ரம் ஒன் பார்ட் ஆஃப் த கம்ப்யூட்டர் டு அதர் பார்ட் ஆஃப் த கம்ப்யூட்டர் தட் இஸ் கால்ட் ஆஸ் அ சிஸ்டம் பஸ் ஸோ விச் இஸ் அ கலெக்ஷன் ஆஃப் அட்ரஸ் பஸ் data bus and control bus it carries the address of the particular memory location and it carries the signal signal yaar send panva control control oda signal as well as data also idellame vand adu carry pannum that serves as a communication channel between the microprocessor and other devices so through the bus only microprocessor can able to communicate with the other units that is input unit 
output unit and memory unit through the bus only all the parts of the computers are communicated with each other and it also carries the data also students i hope you could understand the concept of computer organization architecture and microprocessor in the next video we we'll discuss about the characteristics of microprocessor thank you